In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the forward cable method on the HX effects from line 6. Hey guys, welcome to the channel, and if you're new here, please feel free to subscribe down below and click that bell icon so you'll be notified every time I release new content. And today we're going to look at how to set up the four cable method on the HX effects from line six. And it's very, very simple. And there's a few things that, you know, unless you know where to go, you wouldn't otherwise know. So unless you're just wanting to, you know, poke around for a little bit to see where everything is, I'm going to give you a shortcut today and, and give you the rundown on how to do this. So this is a blank preset. You can just see that I'm just in, you know, I'm in preset 31A. So I'm gonna click the mode button and we have everything blank. So we wanna choose the three lines up on the top right hand corner and go into signal flow. And for me, this is the easiest way to, you know, create a preset because you can see the line of effects being built up. So usually I have effects before the effects loop, which is going into the front end of the amp, or I have effects going into the actual effects loop of the amp. So we're actually gonna add an effects loop block right in the middle. And to do that, you need to push the big knob and we're gonna turn clockwise till we go down to send and return. Okay, we're gonna choose mono. And then you see there's send one, send two, return one, return two, and then effects loop one and effects loop two. Now on the back, you can see I already have my cables connected to effects loop two down here. So that's the one that I'm gonna choose. And I simply just, uh, you can press the big knob right there. And you can control the mix if you want to by using the three small knobs up here, or you can press the arrow key to find more parameters. And I always want to have trails on, so I'm going to turn that first knob right there. You can see I can turn it on and off like that. Okay, so now this is going to be the split between my effects going into the front end of the amp or the input of the amp, and everything else is going into the effects loop of the amp, okay? So now, let's just say, if you keep clicking the buttons right here, you can go to slot one, slot two, and then slot three in this little area. Because there's three groups of three, so there's nine effects total that you can have in your preset. And the effects loop block is obviously, you know, taking up one of those slots. So, and then you have eight slots left over that you can fill up. Uh, I do not want this to be on a foot switch. So up here, you can see while I'm in the effects loop two, I'm on foot switch five. And you can see that. So here's five. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm going to go back in the signal flow mode here. And I'm going to choose this area just by touching the, the switch. And then I'm going to change that to none because I don't want the effects loop to be um, assigned to a switch. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and do our effects loop effects now. Uh, for me, I love having some kind of tremolo. So we'll go down to modulation by turning and pressing the big knob. We're just going to do a mono and let's just put in an optical trim. I'm not going to mess with the parameters right now. We're just going to set up everything up. If you want to, you can go ahead and assign this to a foot switch. So this is on foot switch six. Let's put it on, um, let's put that on three. So it's gonna show up in this upper right hand corner here. And then in this bank of three effects blocks, we're gonna put some delays and reverbs. Uh, so let's go ahead and put in a delay. We'll just do a simple delay. I can go ahead and turn the mix down because I know I like my mix around 30% or so. You can adjust the delay times. So this is milliseconds. So if you push on the knob that has time, 
you can switch between uh, subdivisions, which is going to be your quarters, eighths, halves, dotted eights, stuff like that. Or if you push it again, then you're back in milliseconds. Okay, so that's how you do that. I'll put mine on a uh, quarter note for right now. And then let's go ahead and add in some kind of reverb. I'm going to go to Legacy because I really like the Octoverb. And that is Octo right there. Okay, so this is going to be a special effect. Um, and we can have this assigned to foot switch too. And then let's go ahead and add an always on reverb. Because the Octoverb is really more for like certain effects. Um, let's go ahead and put in the glitz. We can make sure the trails are on for that. All right, so if I press mode, you can see that I have glitz, octo, optical trim, and simple delay right here, okay? But this glitz right here, I want this to be um, always on. So I'm gonna have that be set to no foot switch. And I'm gonna go ahead and save it. Okay, so that way you got octo, trim, and then delay. Let's move that delay up to this foot switch by doing this. If I touch both knobs, you can see it says swap foot switches six and one. I'm gonna press okay. And now my simple delay went up there. Okay, so that's pretty fast and easy to do. And down here, I'm gonna have my drives. And so let's go back to signal flow. And we still got quite a few uh, blocks we can insert here. So let's go to the very beginning. I'm going to go to dynamics. Let's just go to a red squeeze. And usually I like to have my compressor have a, have a blend knob. So that way I can just set a kind of 50% wet, 50% dry. That's going to be number one. I'm always going to have this compressor on, so I'm not going to have it assigned to a switch. Then the next one I'm going to do Let's have this be a, a monitor. I'll go ahead and turn the gain down on that. Let's go ahead and add another one. Distortion. And let's throw in a Timmy. We'll turn the gain down on that. And then we'll have the, the center uh, clipping, which is gonna be more open sounding. And then the last one right here, we're gonna do a higher gain sound and we're going to go ahead and do uh, the compulsive drive we'll turn that gain down as well and i think i like the version 4 the best so now that you can see we have the red squeeze the monitor timmy and then the compulsive drive then we have our effects loop which is splitting the signal so all these effects are going to the input of the amp. And then we have optical trim, simple delay, octo, and then glitz. And that's going to the effects loop of the amp. Now the amp I'm using on this board is the Quilter Interblock 45. And it does have a send and return right here. And it has an input, just like a real amp. And so here's my effects loop and here's my input. And then I can either go out to a uh, speaker cab or I can go to a FRFR cabinet if I want. And there's also, a uh, there's also a balance line out. I can go directly to a mixing board or I can do a hip bones. And here's the master volume for that, okay? So just because I'm using a, a small amplifier like this doesn't mean you can't plug into like a Mesa Boogie or a Fender Twin or Whatever you want, it doesn't really matter. So that's how you set up a four cable method on the HXFX. If you guys have any questions for me, feel free to leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to answer any questions that come my way. So if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you hadn't done so yet, subscribe down below and click on that bell icon. And I'm Dr. McFarland. I will see you in the next video. Keep rocking. Hey, hey, hey. 
wait a second before you go be sure to check out the description down below there's a lot of really cool links and definitely be sure to check out my website drmcfarlandstudios.com see ya